Welcome to GI Reviews, and it's time for review it in five minutes or less. Today's topic is number 62, David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen. You see the packaging? We've got uh, the uh, ugly uh, artwork that we uh, were getting prior to the new style, which I fully enjoy. On one side, we get the functionality of what the bazooka can do. On the other side, we get more of that ugly artwork. On the back, we get the loadout of bazooka as well as a couple digital renders of the same character right there. And then speaking of the loadout, here we have it. His loadout is as follows. He has, of course, his bazooka. He's got his backpack slash harness to house his bazooka shells. We get four bazooka missiles. Two of them are uh, just plain, and then there are the two that uh, they must serve a different type of functionality. We get the casing for uh, the rear of the bazooka for when you load the uh, weapon, and, of course, we get the helmet. And here's bazooka himself. You see he's blazing the red jersey. It's got the number 14 on it, striping on the bicep portions of the sleeves. He's got green wristband. He's got a loose belt that's got some silver paint on it. His pants, lower half, green khaki, and his boots are gray. Face sculpt's looking pretty cool. You can see that right there. It's got the mustache going on, the uh, furled brow. I've got uh, nothing wrong with the eyes. Everything he's uh, actually doing a, uh, a a scowl kind of sort of with the eyes. Looks good. Nice hair. Looking at that jersey. Uh, looking at mine. It's uh, It's got weathering on it. In other words, jaggies. But these jaggies are intentional to make it look like it's an older shirt. An older jersey. So that works perfectly well. Nice... Uh, Striping on the biceps, pretty cool. The uh, green wristbands also look nice. You see that we've got paint on the uh, belt buckle. It's pretty cool. We turn it around. Nothing's going on in the back there. There's no other paint apps when you look at the lower half. Khaki pants. He's got pockets and uh, patches and all kinds of stuff like that, but nothing going on there. He's got pinned knees but pinless elbows as you can see that there and then of course looking at the boots looking all pretty nice there they are gray they're detailed they're pretty nice articulation his head is on a dumbbell and the neck is also on a bell as well so he can look up only that far look down with conjunction with the neck like that you get some attitude you can get a 360. He's got butterfly joints, so he can draw back only that far, but he can get his arms in that much. He can get a T-pose a little bit more than 90. He can swivel, rotate the elbow like that, double jointed. He has rotating wrists. And he's got the vertical hinge, and that is also what's going on on the uh, right side, vertical hinge. He's got diaphragm cut, so he can bend forward that far, that far back. He can lean side to side, and he also has waist swivel. He can spread the legs that far out, which is pretty good. He's got the drop downs. He can get 90 degrees kicking go back quite a bit he's got the thigh cut double jointed pinned elbows tch, elbows knees we've got the uh, swivel at the boot he can point his toe that far forward that far up he's got ankle pivot and holes at the bottom of his feet here we have bazooka fully loaded out let you get a 360 degree visual of that Bazooka stands at 6.39 inches. Comparing him to some of the larger classified series, we've got Sergeant Slaughter, Roadblock, Rock and Roll, for some bad guys, an Arctic Bat, and finally a Cobra Trooper. So in closing, the G.I. Joe classified series number 62, David L. Bazooka, Katzenbogen, is the figure we should have gotten the first time with the red 
jersey still has the same loadout bazooka and uh indeed this is what we wanted the first time but uh is that uh your assessment state that in the comments below